You ever seen that? No. And it's all this white stuff. And what is that white stuff? It's calcium. And it turns out that in every case of a heart attack, every single heart disease case you could think of, there is this thing of the whole coronary artery being silted up with calcium. Now that's really interesting because what do we hear all the time? Eat more calcium. Has anyone ever heard this before? So we're going to talk today about calcium because I really believe that this is where the rubber hits the road. If you look at what sells in health food stores, if you look at the statistics, even in like Long's Drugs, in your standard Walmart, what is the supplement that sells the most? What are people concerned about? Calcium, bone density. And then we're going to talk about what calcium really is, how it's formed in the body, how to get the right kind of calcium, and how to get the wrong kind of calcium out of us. 25 years ago, a couple researchers started looking at heart disease in a different way, and they took a bunch of pus and gunk and calcium that had been taken out of people's arteries, and they began culturing it, trying to figure out, hey, maybe there's a few other organisms involved here. What that evolved into over time was the discovery by accident that there are very slow geometrically growing organisms in our body that you can't culture normally, but if you leave that Petri dish sit there for eight months, you have something in there that's like, whoa, what is that? And they discovered that actually the primary recycler at the base of every fungus, yeast, mold, candida, cancer, virus, is an organism which forms the hook that those things hook into. It's a symbiotic organism or symbiotic corrosive organism that will take us out eventually. And that substance is actually a microscopic size of a virus oyster with a calcium shell on it. Or, another way of saying that, a microscopic piece of coral, like a coral reef in the ocean, that forms a calcium shell on it. And these things reproduce geometrically, very slowly, like a barnacle. Anybody ever seen a barnacle on a boat? That's what this stuff is. It finds the place where there's a stagnation of flow and goes click, 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 and forms a barnacle coral reef. And then that disturbs the flow or the implosion of blood. You know, your, your heart doesn't pump anything. We know, has anybody figured this out? This is the most crazy thing ever. In the, I mean, some of the scientific presumptions are just beyond absurd. Look it up tonight. Get on Google and look up exactly how much pressure your heart would have to generate in order to push blood from a hole that big to something the size of a cell, your capillary interface. That's like a turkey baster. Anybody ever played with a turkey baster? What, what did you do with it? <laughs> right, you, you're taking this thing, you're kind of squeezing through these little tiny pipes that ain't going anywhere. So what's really happening is it's a suction that's happening. And when that suctional force is disturbed by the formation of barnacles inside the pipe, another way of saying that is you've had it in your house, corrosion inside the pipe, the formation of iron crystals and calcium crystals inside the pipe, it disturbs the flow, it, the, tur the flow becomes turbulent, the pipes, when you turn on the sink, it goes... <laughs> that happen to anybody? Oh, yeah. when you turn, have you ever turned on a faucet in your house and the whole thing goes <laughs> you hear the pipe rattling in the wall? That's what's happening inside us and the, re and the reaction of that is inflammation. That's the reaction. When we start getting corrosion inside the pipes, we start getting inflammation. And usually it's associated with where we've had an injury or where we're holding an energetic or emotional stagnation, like let's say you have anger against your father, it would be in your liver. Let's say you have anger against your mother, it would be in your heart. And then that place will eventually start stacking up or silting up the stuff, and eventually the whole thing clogs up the whole artery. And that's called a heart attack. In the brain, it's called a stroke. In the kidneys, it's called kidney stones, calcium forming particles like oysters that stack up like coral on top of each other. In your gallbladder, it's called gallstones. In your joints, it's called... Has anybody figured out by now that there's something going on in the joint? There's a formation of something that's causing the stagnation of that joint tissue. What is it? 
It's calcium. And it's the wrong kind of calcium, and it's growing right in the joint, and it's not a virus that's forming it. It's not a fungus that's forming it. It's not a cancer cell that's forming it. What is it? It's an organism. And it's an organism, it's a microscopic clan. Now your immune system can't chew this stuff up. It's chewing, it's like chewing up glass. So your immune system will try to get in. It's like chewing up glass, just cut your immune system apart. And over time, as it reproduces geometrically, eventually you reach a critical threshold. It's called your calcium limit. And when your calcium limit goes over about its number of 70, your calcium score, anybody ever had, anybody ever had a heart attack here? Once the calcium score goes over a certain limit, you basically you're a goner. Your doctors are like, uh, that's it, you're done. Anybody know that? I mean, how many people know about the calcium score? Don't we want high calcium? Is that what we're being told? How come when our calcium score is high, it's the worst situation ever? It's because we're having a reproduction of these organisms. Now, in about a period of about 10 years, a few people in the medical profession, actually medical researchers, did not only figure out how to culture this organism, isolate it, identify it, be able to identify it in, for example, the blood of animals. Meat and blood today, especially coming out of factory farms, is loaded with stuff. Um, urine is not sterile, actually, if you're into UT. Anybody here into UT? Anybody here not know what I'm talking about? How many people here care? How many people here are having the best day ever? There are organisms in urine, and those organisms are calcium-forming particles, or little barnacles, or little oyster shells. Now those guys form the hiding places. They form the coral reef, that forms the hiding places, and then the little viruses are the little, quote-unquote, parasite. Nobody here has parasites, of course. You ever, you ever seen this? Like, I, you know, nobody has, but people are, like, they look at me and they go, Has anybody here ever gotten a parasite out of their body? That's one of the best things. Because when you're babbling up here all day and all night, people go, yeah, whatever. Then they get a parasite out of their body. They're like, we, we got to get back over there. We got to get back to that seminar. Because then you learn. You, go, you, you really get a piece of information. All those parasites, all that stuff, that whole load sits on top of calcification. And what we really want is high silicon, high magnesium, low calcium, and it turns out that most of the calcium supplements are contaminated with calcium-forming organisms. So the more calcium you take, the more you're getting exposed to those organisms, the more you calcify, the more problems can create in the joints, in the heart, in the brain, in the liver, the kidneys, the lungs. What's calcification of the lungs called? Emphysema. You look at every sick cancer. Turns out that cancer has hundreds of receptor sites for these little guys on it. On every cancer cell. So they claim it's like, oh, this is our. It's like a. It's like Star Wars. Anybody see Star Wars? Remember there was the big ships and the little ships came out of them. You recall? That's what this is. The cancer cell is the big ship, and the little ships that come out of it are those little calcium forming particles or those little oysters and they get into everything if they're in your ear it's called hard of hearing if they're in your eye it's called a cataract if it's in your mouth it's called plaque it's so obvious it's it's so obvious it's exactly why it's not seen Every condition involves a calcification component. Isn't that interesting? Now, these researchers figured out not only what this stuff is, how to culture it, but how to get it out. You want to hear that? Yeah.